Good afternoon. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and governance board, it is my honor as president to welcome all of you to Cristo Rey Jesuit's commencement ceremony for the class of 2022. <laughs> this year, the class of 2022 has the distinction of being the graduating class of the Ignatian year. I believe this makes this very moment even more special. Saint Ignatius reminds us how important it is to live in the moment, to recognize God at work through others, because once a moment is lived, we can't get it back. I would like to pause right now and allow you to take in this special moment. The presence, graduates of your family and friends, the goodness of this day. Thank God for this moment and those who are part of it with you. Graduates, this moment is a result of your commitment to perseverance in your educational journey with the help of loved ones, friends, and so many others along the way. You did not let challenging circumstances determine the person you'd become. Rather, you recognized that your actions in response to your circumstances demonstrate your true character. Class of 2022, you are and will always be trailblazers. Trailblazers are leaders. As a Jesuit school, we say trailblazers are leaders through service as men and women for and with others in our global community. God continues to call you to use your tremendous gifts to creatively and boldly respond to the most pressing challenges of our time. Your values and beliefs not your circumstances, define you and, ser and will serve as anchors in your life. If you are someone who practices being open to growth, being loving, someone who seeks intellectual excellence, is religious, committed to justice, and work experienced, you are a leader, a trailblazer, someone who will have the power to make a difference in the world. I'm so proud to see you in your caps and gowns, you trusted your faith, your family, Cristo Rey teachers and staff, and your coworkers at your workplaces that this would all pay off. Simply put, our world needs trailblazers. Our world needs bridge builders. Our world needs leaders who are willing to care for creation and all people. Our world needs you. While this day commemorates your achievements over the last four years, I would like you to think about all those who supported and believed in you. Trailblazers lead, but do not walk the journey alone. Your parents and loved ones have been there for you every step of the way, instilling important values in you and helping you grow into young adults. Christian Ray Jesuit faculty and staff members have generously responded to their vocations to teach you lessons inside and outside of the classroom. Corporate work study executives and supervisors mentored you in your workplace experiences. Then there are the van drivers, coaches, community volunteers, donors, and the Jesuits who quietly supported you through, your advocacy, through their advocacy, time, talent, and financial resources. Our school's governance board has been instrumental in ensuring strong community relationships in resources for your education. As you move on to the next steps in your educational journey, know that we all remain with you in this trailblazing spirit. As you think about your diplomas from Cristo Rey Jesuit and the next step in your journeys, I urge you to consider what type of trailblazer you'll be. I could go on to say how one of you might find a cure for cancer or be the President of the United States. However, I'd like us to think even bigger about how we could live our lives as trailblazers in the spirit of the prayer of St. Francis. Where there is hatred, will you bring love? When someone does wrong, 
will you forgive? When our world sows doubt, will you have faith? When life brings despair, will you anchor in hope? When there is darkness, will you be the light? When there is sadness, will you bring joy? In whatever path you choose, I wish you great success and hope you'll use your hearts and minds to build your future and the kingdom of God. Go forth and set the world on fire, class of 2022. Congratulations and God bless. Let us pray. Voy a rezar primero en español. Dios de alegría y esperanza, te agradecemos por este tiempo de graduación. Tu espíritu de sabiduría ha fortalecido nuestro trabajo y disciplina en tal manera que nuestra hambre por aprendizaje sea nutrido con sabiduría, descubrimiento, creatividad y determinación. Mientras nos preparamos para caminar por el escenario y recibir nuestros diplomas, caminemos en una oración de gratitud por todas las bendiciones que han hecho este momento real y lleno con gran potencial. En gratitud, Oramos por nuestras familias y por los que se han sacrificado y trabajado para vernos en este momento de esperanza. En gratitud, oramos por los maestros y administradores que nos han desafiado, cuidado y preparado a lo largo de este viaje académico. En gratitud, Oramos por los compañeros que nos han enseñado más sobre la amistad, la colaboración y sobre compartir. Que su espíritu nos guíe en lo que entramos a los próximos capítulos de nuestras vidas. Ayúdenos a animar esperanza en el mundo y traer cosas buenas en tu reino. Y que esta celebración sea un reflejo de las bendiciones que encontramos al conocerte y amarte. Por este es el día que has hecho, Señor. Nos alegramos en ello. God of joy and hope, we thank you for this time of graduation. Your spirit of wisdom has empowered our hard work and discipline in such a way that our hunger for learning has, nourished, has been nourished with knowledge, discovery, creativity, and determination. As we prepare to walk this stage and receive our diplomas, let us walk in prayerful gratitude for the many blessings that have made this moment real and filled with great potential. In gratitude, we pray for our families and the many who have sacrificed and worked to see us in this hopeful moment. In gratitude, we pray for the teachers and administrators who have challenged, cared for, and formed us along this academic journey. In gratitude, we pray for fellow students who have taught us more about friendship, collaboration, and sharing. May your spirit, Lord, guide us as we unfold the next chapters of our lives. Help us to enliven hope in the world and bring good things to your kingdom. And may this celebration be a reflection of the blessings that we find in knowing and loving you. For this is the day that you have made, Lord. We are glad and rejoice in it. Amen. Amen.
And now, let me present the salutatorian of the class of 2022, Lauren Youngman. Ahora les presento al segundo graduado con altos honores, Lauren Youngman. Welcome to the graduates and parents of the Cristo Rey community. I am Lauren Youngman, a senior of the class of 2022. As a salutatorian, I'm required to give a speech. People thank friends and family for helping them through the journey of school. But right now, I thank the valedictorian, Augustine, for taking the pressure off of me for even doing a longer speech. I would also like to thank God for bringing us together at this school and introducing each of us to each other. He helped me get through each and every day, and I wouldn't be here without him. Adolescence, the youthful spree of innocence which helped us shape who we are today. Most people look back on the time period with the memory of fondness, the flower bud which keeps on growing until it can no longer sprouts into a blossom, and when fully mature, scatters its seeds with the wind a growth from singularity to join the rest of the world in community. In these periods of fondness, we, we, we recollect these fragments of memory with pure bliss. Wild and free, as people put it, with carelessness about anyone or anything. You are one with one yourself. No one can change you. No one can interrupt that pause clock in your head where you are stuck in time. And we are stuck in the past living by these tiny fragments day by day. Who said we had to grow up? The outstretched hand of the future beckons us, from which we are forced to step from our past, out of the comfort zone, which has so much potential, but also ruin. And it seems the future comes with the returning struggle of finding oneself. So why did it we leave it in the first place? We spent so much time on what we could be that we never took the time to pause and see who we actually are. People say high school is one of the best times in your life, but high school is nothing like the movies, not even close. Our class was the last building block for creating the foundation of Cristo Rey. We are the last founding class, and with that responsibility comes leading a legacy. Our class was a, or we, yeah, wait. We finished the stepping stones in creating what Cristo Rey is today. Our class had a lot of firsts. We were, the, we were experiments. We were the first to complete the school in each of the four grades. We've experienced no phone policies, blaze days, apps like Apara and Membean, and we've learned our lesson from firsts. We've been through hardships with some of our favorite teachers leaving, COVID and online classes. As a class, we've endured through a lot of things and so stuck, stuck strong together in unity. So I'd like to keep that mentality to push through things at its hardest and, we can, and that we can get through struggling times as we pursue the future to greater things. As we get ready to leave the class of 2022, I would like to reflect on some old memories we've had. From the old school building, which had a special, spell, special smell, special smell, sorry, that could only be smelled at the beginning of school days for the first two periods, the inconsistent air conditioning on hot summer days, the taco truck at the end of the school year parties, the wet socks after walking outside for two seconds on a rainy day, the after school parties in the esports room, the sound of the cello at the end of each class, which over time increased in annoyance until we became accustomed to it and the happy reminders of seeing each other's faces every day. Not every memory needs to be big, and I hope that we can look back on the memories, good and bad, with fondness. Each person had their own group or clique that they identified with, and I regret not knowing everyone. But even though everyone is separated, we all felt a sense of belonging and community. I didn't feel alone. The casual conversations in the hallways between classes 
and echoing laughter always made me feel at home. Students asking each other, did you do the homework for today? And the other one would reply, we had homework? Even after all, we head off to college and our future careers. I hope that these friendships and relationships continue with each other and that we all remain as a community, strengthening our bonds and making new ones with other people. As we look to the future, we reflect on what has brought us here today. Who we were, which makes us who we are, and who we will become. From the teachers and staff who help shape us who we are today, and the parents and guardians of each Cristo Rey student who help shape form who we are. Each of us is beautifully unique. I pray for our future and are the impact we will have each on the world. We are trailblazers, and each of us will blaze our own path. Doctors, lawyers, nurses, accountants, teachers, firefighters, the future is unlimited. I would like to end by saying that as a next generation, our impact will have a lasting effect for generations to come. Thank you. It is, it is my honor to now introduce a person who has touched the lives and hearts of the class of 2022. Not only does he feed our students noodles and chocolate-covered granola bars, but he fills them with love and encouragement on a daily basis. Mr. Tim Chisholm, the class of 2022, is honored that you are here with us today, and we thank you for sharing your wisdom with the class of 2022. It is my honor to present your elected commencement speaker, Mr. Tim Chisholm. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Tim Chisholm, in case you were wondering who I am. That is right. I am the parking lot attendant, security guard, maintenance guy, and the O Tim, could you, guy. And yes, I really am the guy giving the kids commencement speech. No, believe it or not, your kids elected me to give this speech, and even after they were about to graduate from this historically famous Jesuit institution, that's right, somehow they made your kid elect the parking lot attendant to be their speaker. <laughs> so here it is, the parking lot attendant's great advice. As you venture forth in life, don't take yourself too seriously. Now, before my boss prepares to fire me, let me clarify this. I'm not talking about an attitude. I'm offering a perspective. Not a whatever attitude, but an outlook on life that allows you to give yourself a break and accept all the challenges that will inevitably come your way. And I'm talking about a degree of seriousness. You are certainly to take yourself seriously just not too seriously. I know, folks, not such great advice to give teenagers, but let me explain. The truth be told, your kids wanted to show me their love and respect, and this is a very treasured and honored gift to give this speech. I really do appreciate being given this opportunity. But I am quite certain I am a surrogate here for the love and respect your children have for their parents and their family. I'm pretty sure your kids see you in me and that we are humble, down-to-earth people. We have worked hard for what we have, and we have been raised to love God, family, and friends as our faith demands. We have made choices in life that have led us to want to build a better world for you kids, and we humbly offer you our best. But today, you graduates really do venture forth on your own, one way or the other. So I want to give you a perspective, a way to look at the world once in a while by simply asking yourself, am I taking myself too seriously right now? I find when I am most upset and angry with the world and cut off in traffic just once too often and I begin to rage, I have learned to ask myself, am I really this important of a person? The answer, of course, is no. I'm just a human rushing around like everyone else trying to do my best. It gives me a bigger perspective beyond myself and allows for me to get out of the trap of I am the most important person in the world right now. 
Our society and culture promote self-centered narcissism because you can sell a lot of crap to someone who takes himself too seriously. Instead, a person with a focus on others and knows they are loved by their creator and have faith because they know that love through their family and their friends. You don't have to be your own God. You can fail, make mistakes, have arguments, but always return to that love and respect known as a faith in a God. You see, I believe true wisdom is based on being able to ask questions and to ask for help. Being able to say, I don't know, let me find out. This is key. People who take themselves too seriously rarely utter the words, I don't know. They already have all the answers. For me, this all came to a focal point. One weekend while I was sitting watching A&E biography of a Leslie Nielsen of Naked Gun. I know, you're all looking at me like, what? I know, I'm older than dirt, but uh, Google Leslie Nelson. He's actually a Canadian actor. Poor Miss Burris, she, she had a Google, and she had no idea what the hell it Anyways, this was right before I had made my decision to retire. I was exhausted and really hating life. I was becoming a person I didn't want to be. The next career move was going to have to be to Washington, D.C., because I had made myself such a major pain in the butt for my chief in San Diego. And the actor in that stupid biography TV show said something that struck me as being a good perspective. He said, the day I stopped taking myself so seriously was the day I became a much better actor, comedian, and human being. That is when I asked myself, am I just taking myself too seriously? Why promote? I don't want to sit behind a desk in Washington, D.C., kissing butt. I retired and began to use that question to humble myself and put things in a bigger perspective. That freed me to just walk away from a 22-year career and live happily ever after here at Crystal Ray, fixing things, directing traffic, making kids smile with chocolate-covered granola and ramen noodles. Finally, I hope you see your faith as the most precious gift your parents and grandparents will ever give you. But faith can only be accepted by the humble question, I don't know, and still believing. A belief not based on facts and figures and self-knowledge, but on the great mystery of our faith. Allow and humbly accept the Holy Spirit to fill you with memories of your family's gift of faith through their love. The freedom of the mystery that is you in the mystery of faith in a God that loves you and frees you. See yourself as an unfolding mystery and learn to laugh at yourself. The mystery that is you is not a mystery to be solved. It is a mystery to be experienced. Uh, disclaimer here, your future spouse, she will definitely solve you and they will definitely not get you away with the whole experience me thing. So that's just one quick disclaimer. Now, the single greatest gift Crystal Ray has given you is self-discipline. And believe me, first, firsthand I saw Mr. Harrison, Mr. Landry, Ms. Burris, Mr. Flores, Ms. Match, every teacher here at CRJ, they know how to instill self-discipline. After all, they are Jesuits. And although you may not appreciate it now, you will soon see they gave you a far better gift than ramen noodles and chocolate-covered granola. It truly is a gift that keeps on giving, believe me. The final wish I have for you and the reason I am here today is because my Jesuit teacher and friend, Father Matchka, remained my friend and spiritual guide since my high school graduation. He was my teacher at Marquette High and became my best friend and confidant. I hope you can find that one teacher here at CRJ that I found in Father Matchka. You see, Crystal Ray is going to be your excellent source of community, connections, and partners and discerning many opportunities and challenges in the years to come. Don't squander that opportunity. Continue to build that relationship with your own Father Matchka. That special relationship may just be as simple as they were your favorite teacher, but it's up to you now to strike up that relationship as an adult friend. It's up to you to keep in touch with and develop that lifelong friendship with that teacher. Believe me, you can always count on them to give you some sound advice and support. Finally, 
I want you seniors to know something and never forget it. You all accepted the big, ugly Guero, even though I was a scary, mysterious security guard with a stupid grin on his face. You all became such good friends, loyal friends, always asking to help me, always telling me how much you appreciated me. I truly was loved by you all, and I hope I can convey my gratitude, not in a speech, but in actions to come, with your visits to your alma mater here, and a message or two between us as the years slip by. Please know that you can always count on me to be there for you, with all my love and support. Obviously, you will know where to find me, waving like a goofball to keep traffic moving. So please, keep in touch, let me know if I can help, and oh, please take that seriously. Now, I've, I have a gift for you, something every college student uh, needs and should have, and you finally make yourself useful to me. So if you would like reach under your seats, you'll find a little rolled up piece of paper with a gift in it for you. Uh, I've included a few of my favorite sayings that I hope you'll take um, some of the seriousness out of your life and laughter in. You should feel it. It's just, um, there you go. Feel free to tear it open. Should find one of these in there. Known as a church key. Bottle opener. Like I said, you finally made me, made yourselves useful. You, myself and your parents. God bless, guys. Love you much. We are honored to present 80 seniors with high school diplomas. As your name is called, please come forward to receive your diploma. We ask that guests remain seated until the graduates are called to receive their diplomas. We have a professional photographer to capture the moment and there will be time for photos after our ceremony. Please also save your applause until the last student's name is called so that each student's name is heard as it is announced. I ask Crystal Ray's leadership team to take their places on stage to congratulate our graduates as their diplomas as their diploma is conferred upon them. Es un honor presentar a 80 estudiantes del último año con diplomas de escuela secundaria. Invitados, por favor, permanezcanse sentados mientras los graduados reciben sus diplomas. Tenemos un foto fotógrafo profesional para capturar el momento y habrá tiempo para fotos después de la ceremonia. También les pedimos que por favor guarden sus aplausos hasta que el nombre, el último graduado para que puedan escuchar el nombre de cada alumno. Natalia Aburto. Leslie Adame Dominguez. Eliam Almagur Durán. Joel Alvarado. Jonathan Andrade Plasencia. Mar María María Antonio Rangel.
Elitzi Ávila. Omar Fab. Ashley Bautista. Carlos Bentecourt. Jacqueline Freeman Flores. Jimena Castro España. Josué Coto. Isabel Domínguez. Maximiliano Espinosa. Michaelen Esther. Kevin Felix. Juan Carlos Garcia Martinez. Candice Garcia. Emily Garcia. Jasmin Garduno. Janaira Godoy. Jose Gómez Aguilera. Leslie Gómez Gallegos. Mariela Gómez Pérez. Leo Gómez. Anthony Gómez. Daisy Gonzalez. Juan Gutierrez. Silali Guzmán Marín. Andrea Hernández. Fernanda Hernández Nuno. Tomás Hernández Rodríguez. Nicole Hernández Flores. Saúl Hernández. Lauren Youngman. Augustine Key. Victor Laranaga. Misael Lozano Carrasco. Aureli Yevano Roberto. Ailed Martinez. Perla Maury. Michelle Medina Diaz.
Brian Medina Zaragoza. Nashley Medina. Melvin Mejia. Angel Mora. <laughs> Diana Murillo. Rotse Nunez. Crystal Ortiz Jimenez. Ashley Padilla. Jonathan Pantoja. Clemente Pavon. Daisy Perez Cabrera. Christopher Perez. Maria Perez. Melissa Perez. Anaya Pratt. Alexa Ramirez. Araceli Ramirez. Aitzel Ramos Reyes. Nancy Reyes Romero. Christopher Rivas. May Romero. Brittany Ruiz. Sandra Sanchez Camille. Aureli Sanchez Perez. Ariliana Sanchez. Surya Sanchez. Samantha Santos. Pamena Sincion. Luis Serrano. Wanye Sloan. Fiorella Toscano Reynoso. Jacob Valadez. Jacqueline Valdivia. Katie Vasquez Perianes. Jessica Velasco. And Paul Zamudio. Peter 
worship team, please take your seats. It is my honor to present the valedictorian of the class of 2022, Augustine Key. As, as mi honor, president, presentarles a la graduada con otros honores, Augustine Key. Y'all saw that? I spoke a little Espanol for y'all. Ooh. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thank you to all for joining us to celebrate the talents of today and the future of the world. My name is Augustine Key, and I stand before you as the valedictorian for the class of 2022 of Crystal Ray Jesuit High School, Milwaukee. I have learned... <laughs> I have learned many lessons alongside others. I have expanded my story and it has been a blessing to spend these years with my classmates. In writing this speech, I have considered the challenges that I have faced, but I am not expressing these challenges for a means of sympathy, but in acknowledgments of how I arrived at this point where I can proudly say, I am a minority, an immigrant, and will be attending Stanford University in the fall. I am an overthinker, and I have written this speech, and I have erased a lot of words, sections, tried to make it sound so polished, and tried to make this the most profound speech I could. But in a world of imperfection, perfection is in a reality. I realized this, that I needed to just do it, which will allow everything to come into place. And it's difficult to recap the last four years in just a few minutes, but I can attest to the fact that the class of 2022 is the best class to date for Crystal Ray. And we have achieved a lot in academics, service to our community, leadership, the arts, and athletics. We as a class were able to survive a pandemic and thrive with every challenge. We as a class have been able to blaze the trail with three top 20 acceptances, uh, Notre Dame, Cornell, and Stanford. And when the world was in a frenzy and took a step forward for black lives, our class aimed to uplift our community and participated in the Black Lives Are Sacred demonstration. Our lives aimed to uplift our community and continue on to this year as leaders in faith and social justice. Our class helped lead and host the first annual Black History Month program. And the pandemic did not slow our class down in finding ways to support our community. We participated in the Arupe's Leader Summit and the Ignatian Family Teaching. And as the world opens back up, our class continued to lead in IFTJ and the Arupe Leader Summit. Many seniors took a lead in performing and putting on our school musical this year. The arts have been a focal point for our class as our students wrote and created their own plays and even auditions for Netflix roles. Our athletes have achieved numerous accolades this year in conferences and regionals. This year was the first year our boys soccer team have been, able to, have been able to go to regionals and the leadership of the senior class allowed the team to have morale, perseverance and grit to reach our highest points of CRJ soccer yet. And the soccer team has won our conferences twice alongside the girls volleyball team and the girls and boys track team as well. Facing our toughest years in a pandemic, our athletes continue to break and set records. Two new school records were broken and seven new records were set for track and field. And remember this, class of 2022, we truly are leaders and will continue to make a difference in the next part of our journey and the world. Crystal Ray, this isn't the peak. We've achieved so much and this is only the beginning. And as the last founding class, we have helped establish the legacy and level 
of what it means to be a Crystal Ray student. To be able to stand before you as valedictorian, as an immigrant going to Stanford University, and as a presumed success story from my community, I had to persevere and dedicate myself for this opportunity. This opportunity to share my story with you at this moment and my coming successes beyond high school. 8,000 miles away and 12 years ago, in a refugee camp of Mayhong Song, Thailand, a chapter in my life came to a close and a new chapter began. Starting anew in a harsh new world, full of different cultures, racism, stereotypes, and prejudice was hard, but I persevered. For elementary school and high school, I was a member of school communities where I was the only Asian American. And it was difficult to be misunderstood and made me feel alone at times. But I persevered, but not only that, but I thrived. Um, I, I thrived. Seeing that I stand before you as valedictorian, seeing that I overcame the challenges of being different, seeing that the pandemic was a barrier, but did not stop me from accomplishing my goals and help me feel prepared to go to college where I will have to face things alone without family. And throughout these times, when it was happy and when it was rough, I learned to lean on the support of my family and friends and God. Uh, some of my friends, Angel Mora, Carlos Bentecourt, Kevin Felix, and Jonathan Andrade. The toughest time throughout my high school career was when my mom developed cancer. Uh, she had to go. She had to go through chemo uh, while during the pandemic. And my family leans on each other, and I especially leans on my sister and God. So that I ask through the tough times with education or personally, families lean on each other. Parents allow your children to be children and not just students. Let them lean on you, and give them grace. Students, lean on each other, friends, professors, and parents. I can guarantee you that they will, will be willing to be there for you, as I was able to lean on my friends, my family, teachers, throughout my high school career. And so I tell you, class of 2022, that I'm proud of you for persevering through the old building, the virtual school, and this current building, for making it this far. And I'm also here to tell you that there will be more tough times ahead. But you will be able to push through since you have done it once. And lean on the support of teachers, staff, and networks that you have developed over the past four years. And these same teachers and staff will be there to continue supporting you just as they have done these past four years. Lean on your parents to help continue guiding you and being a support for you. And to parents, thank you for cherishing your children and helping them through the tough times, being with them as they were happy and had good times, but especially when these bright individuals struggled. Continue to support them and cherish them. These next four years will be the same of cherished moments, but of supportive moments. Even at Marquette, just a few short blocks away, it may seem like your little baby bird is flocking from their nest and seemingly miles away, but it's okay. And I want you to ask you to support, cherish, and understand them. Because a lot of these students here today want to pursue higher education to make you proud, to make a difference, not just in the world, but for right at home. They want to be a beacon of hope for their young siblings and family. And today, Standing in front of these 800 individuals and the hundreds of people watching online, as a Korean American, it is evidence that we as Korean people can do it and that we are able to overcome any challenges that stand before us. Other than that, I've got a bigger stage on the hair, but I've got a valedictorian, but other than that, I've got a bigger stage on the hair, but I've got a bigger stage on the hair, and I've got a bigger stage on the hair, and I've got a bigger stage Pecah no big ada top three, jo dulu kan ada baku, pan apa, anu ma atau tu ya ba we we kian naro ni, sano sano awak mak ayah bawa ba we, sembah ma si pop dia ma pi micuar regalu pi meter regalu, pa 
ปลมิเทดูลโปนะฮะ I am the first Korean American, first Crystal Ray Milwaukee student to be able to attend Stanford or any top school, top three school for that matter. But I know I won't be the last. เออเวเฮดัมนี่นะนี่ตีนนี่มาเวเทรัลเลกาดักสแตนฟอร์ดบ้าทับทรีอิตีนะบ้ามานะเวทวานาชัวมาตัว and to my Koreani we are not here to take part we are here to take over And thank you to the families for coming out and celebrating your child here today, as they move on to the next part of their journey. Thank you to all of the corporate work study partners for providing our students with the ability, support, and dedication so that they may be well prepared for their journey after graduation and college. Thank you to our benefactors for the generosity and the numerous scholarships that our students were awarded with to be able to pursue higher education. Thank you to the staff and teacher here at Crystal Ray. For the support and dedication that you provided to the students, each and every one of them, and will continue to do so. And a special thank you to our college counselors here at Crystal Ray, especially this past year. And for this next part, can my family please stand up? I want to, I want to give special thanks to my family. They have supported me through the the happy, sad, and stressful times. I want to give thanks to my loving parents, my mom, for her guidance, teachings, and lovingness, for being there, for being, for being there when it was tough for you to understand or deal with. To my siblings for paving the way and guiding me down the right path. To my loving sister for being, for always being there for me through thick and thin, and being the one I can lean on most. And to my oldest brother who couldn't be here today for being my role model and inspiration. Thank you to all. And class of 2022, we made it. And congratulations to be the best class. And you know collectively that you will all achieve great things. Have each other's back and support each other. It has been a blessing to have built this community over the years with each and every one of you. You are all talented and bright. Give yourself grace, and always believe in yourself. And now, on to the next chapter. In just, in just a few uh, moments, we'll present you to you officially the class of 2022. As has been said this afternoon several times, the last founding class at CRJ. We will present them to you for the first time as high school graduates. Parents, you'll have time to take photos and congratulate your son or daughter. And we invite you to join us for a reception in the uh, Bell Family Commons and on the patio out back. En unos instantes les presentaram, uh, presentaremos la clase del 2022, la última clase fundadora del CRJ, como graduados, como graduados. Padres tendrán tiempo para tomar fotos y felicitar a su hijo o hija. Y los invitamos a unirse con nosotros para una recepción in the Bell Family Commons and in the patio trasero. Parents and families and friends, as you celebrate with your graduate, take pride in who they have become in their time at Cristo Rey. Their growth since you dropped them off at Summer Bridge four years ago has been immense. 
and you have played a key role in their education, their spiritual formation, their work experience, their commitment to justice. Watch and listen for this growth in them and know that your support in their life has had profound and lasting impact. Padres, familios, familias y amigos. Mientras celebran con su graduado, siéntanse orgullosos de en quienes se han convertido en su tiempo en Cristo Rey. Su crecimiento desde que los dejaste en Summer Bridge hace cuatro años ha sido inmenso. Y has jugado un papel clave en su educación, su formación espiritual, su experiencia laboral y su compromiso a la justicia. Observe y escuche este crecimiento en ellos. Y sepa que tu apoyo en su, en su vida ha tenido un impacto profundo y dura, duradero. ¡Que viva! Graduates, the excitement today is palpable, but that is not the only emotion you may be feeling. Over the last few days, some of you have shared with me other feelings about graduating. Disbelief, sadness, nervousness, even anxiety. I want you to know those are appropriate emotions to feel as you make this transition. In fact, your recognition of those emotions is itself a reflection of your humanness, your emotional maturity, your self-awareness. And I also want you to know that the Jesuit education that has helped form you is not something you're saying goodbye to in this transition. Instead, that education is part of you now. The persistence you have shown through these last four years as you've strived for the Majus is now yours to wield in the face of future challenges. Your ability to be God's presence to one another is a gift you can, and I would say you must, share generously in your future relationships. In your time here, you've learned to build bridges across differences and to advocate for justice. Those two are traits that you do not leave behind. They are part of who you are far beyond these walls. And please know as well that you are as much a member of the Cristo Rey Jesuit community or family as an alum as you were as a student. Our commitment to you continues far after today. And we need you to stay committed to Cristo Rey. We want to see you around. We want to hear from you. We want to learn from you. We want to walk with you through college to career. We want to hire you as our next generation of teachers and principals and CWSP directors and presidents. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> Stay connected to Cristo Rey as you head out into the world to lead in service for and with others and guided always by faith. And finally, class of 22, let us give one final and important round of thank yous. First, to you all graduates, for your courage, your resilience, and your passion. You have carried the mission of Cristo Rey on your shoulders, and you have blazed a path that so many future CRJ students can follow. Thank you. We give deep thanks to the Cristo Rey Jesuit staff and teachers for their intelligence, their commitment, their energy, their faith. This celebration today is their celebration too. A special thank you to our graduation committee for the detailed, careful, and patient planning of our baccalaureate mass last night and our senior award ceremony and this graduation ceremony, which is worthy of this distinguished class. We thank our CWSP partners, our governance board, all of our speakers today, we thank the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, the Cristo Rey Network, the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, and to all of our many supporters throughout and beyond Milwaukee, thank you for your support, your prayers, your guidance, and your generosity. 
And finally, to the parents and families of the class of 2022, thank you for the honor of accompanying you and your children, your trailblazer, over these last four years. Finalmente, a nuestros padres y familias de nuestros graduados de Cristo Rey. Gracias por el honor de acompañar a sus hijos y a ustedes por estos cuatro, cuatro años. One final step before we draw the ceremony to a close. Audience, please hold your applause just a few moments longer as I ask the class of 2022 first to please rise and turn, please, and face the, uh, face the, the audience, face your guests, your family. Take in this visual for a moment. And at this time, graduates, please move your tassels to the left, left side of your mortar board, that funky hat you're wearing today. This signifies that you are officially a Cristo Rey Jesuit High School graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor to present to you the Cristo Rey Jesuit graduating class of 2022. One last note, um, if you would like, Mr. Body Spargo, who is our uh, uh, resident many things, including phenomenal uh, um, photographer, to take a family portrait, you may proceed out um, the exit to my right and group uh, together underneath the can canopy. So as you exit, please try to use Pierce Street as an option and avoid traffic. I gotta try to do this in Spanish now. Si desea que el señor Body Spargo Tome una foto de su familia. Puede salir por la salida a mi derecha y agruparse bajo la tienda. Al salir, trate de usar la calle Pierce como una opción para evitar el tráfico. Thank you so much for joining us today. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us.